Today we're going to look at Tarot, Mirror of the Soul, a handbook for the Thoth Tarot. This is a re-release from Wiser Books, part of their Wiser Classic series. And they sent me a review copy, which I'm finally getting around to sharing with you now. So here's the back cover blurb. An essential companion to one of the most popular and influential tarot decks, the Thought Tarot, created by Lady Frida Harris and Aleister Crowley, now featuring new, high-quality reproductions of the cards. The 78 cards of the Thought Tarot were painted by Lady Frida Harris according to instructions from famed occult scholar Aleister Crowley. The result is a magnificent Art Deco work rich in Egyptian symbolism, alchemy, and magic, which contains Kabbalistic and astrological attributions. Tarot, Mirror of the Soul, provides an accessible guide to the Crowley-Harris Thoth Tarot. It explores different ways of working with the cards, guiding your inner exploration, sometimes pointing the way when handling daily situations or making difficult decisions. Author Gerd Ziegler has studied and practiced humanistic and spiritual therapy in depth. First published by Wiser Books in 1988, Tarot, Mirror of the Soul, remains a widely respected classic on the interpretation of the Crowley-Harris Thought Tarot. The Wiser Classic Edition features new, high-quality reproductions of the original cards, as well as an in-depth appreciation of the deck's meaning and relevance by Diane Champany. Generally, I'm not interested in giving bad reviews. I think my time could be better spent, you know, talking about books I do like as opposed to those I don't. Um, the thing about Tarot, Mirror of the Soul is it, it's not a bad book. There's a lot of useful information in it, but it just doesn't really strike a chord with me. It's, it's a little too new agey for my tastes. It comes across more as like a, a self-help book. And I think some people may find it useful. And there are some interesting insights in it. I, I do think that there are far better books uh, that delve into the Crowley Tarot. I'm not, I'm not trying to discourage you from buying this because I think it's worth reading, certainly. Um, like I said, there are things you can get from it and it does come at it at, at the deck from a different perspective. I think the Ziegler has a, an, an odd voice, an odd narrative voice. And, and sometimes I think it's a little off putting. Um, but I, I know a lot of people that just love this book, but for me, um, uh, Lon Milo Duquette's understanding thought tarot uh crowley himself his book uh is essential um and there there's you know a oto text that 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 really delve into it probably one of the one of the best insights uh is lady frida harris's essay she wrote about the art itself and 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 little tidbits of information you got there really go a long way to understanding the tarot i i adore the deck um i've used it for years uh, it's a it's a challenging deck i will say that there's uh it definitely is it's almost like a response deck to the writer weight and in those differences you know they really really shine um as for the book, uh, Mirror of the Soul, if you are a Thoth student, if you spend time with the Thoth Tarot, looking into this book is well worth your time.